When Adam failed in his duties as a guard of the garden and his wife, the Lord keeps his word. With the failure came the consequences of death, and not just for Adam, but for all of humanity. At the same time, God speaks hope in his hearing by saying to the serpent, the seed of the woman, who is Jesus Christ, will bruise the head of the seed of the serpent, who is Satan. When all of humanity descends into violence and sin, God gives hope to Noah by instructing him to build an ark for salvation from coming judgment, and not only to save him, but to save his little church. And he covenants with Noah that he would never destroy the world in a flood again. When Abraham gives in to carnal reasoning, he loses faith and he sleeps with Hagar. God remains faithful and he keeps his word by giving him the promised child through Sarah. When Isaac is deceived into contradicting God's word by preferring Esau to Jacob, God works through his wife and his son to bring him to repentance and ultimately to bless the son of God's choosing, who is Jacob. And when Jacob is on the run from his murderous brother and he finds himself under the injustice of Laban, God delivers him from both. He prospers him under Laban and he reconciles him with Esau. And when Joseph is betrayed by his brothers, God makes him into the vice ruler of Egypt for the salvation of many, including his brothers. Whether you have sinned against God or others have sinned against you, God will make things right. He doesn't abandon his people. He remains faithful. No matter how dark things look, how much you have sinned, how much others have treated you unjustly, God is not unaware. And if you turn to him in true faith and repentance, he will save you through his son, Jesus Christ. This reminds us of our own need to confess.